What's up guys? Bidless Guma here and welcome back to episode number 14 of the Seven of Career Mode. Probably the biggest episode of our career so far. If you've missed the previous episode, I urge you to watch it and then come back on this one. Because we have 10 more stages in La Vuelta a España. And unlike my movie star playthrough, on this one, there's a genuine chance that I could win it. We're going to have quite a lot of mountain stages on our hands. But right now, it is a 13 minute lead for Hugo Hull that we need, sorry, 14 minutes lead with Hugo Hull that we need to prevent from losing. Don't know how we're going to do it, but we have to. Decent race days to begin the episode. Uh, only a plus one on Hugo, but I reckon we can make it work with Brandon's plus five. What do we do breakaway wise? Do we send Schmidt? Do we send Martinez? Do we send Pierre André Coté? Do we send all three? Questions I need to find answers. I was hoping we sent Lautaro Martinez in the breakaway. That's not Lautaro, that's Lenny. Uh, but yeah, we did send him in the breakaway. Uh, he got co-op quite early on, as a matter of fact. I think just after the, uh, the IS. The breaker didn't want to relay him, which felt weird because I was relaying. I wasn't just like taking the pace and staying at the back. So, yeah, we just decided to chill in the peloton, make sure that Hugo and Brandon would make it. Uh, and so far, it looks like we've done our job quite well. We've got one more hill between uh, reaching Urdac uh, Dan Charenia. That was terrible Basque, and I'm very sorry about that. But, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we could start the episode with a nice win, or at least not lose time GC West. Even more attacks. That time, I think it's Remco Evenepoel. Yep, Remco Evenepoel has gone. Uh, we came back on Rigo Uran. And now the aim is to catch the uh, the feisty Belgian. I don't think he's got a nickname so far, so I'm going to call him the, the reject of Anderlecht. <laughs> there goes McNulty. And there goes Hugo. Oh, there's, there's, there's just a straight line. Who are you? Oh, Jasper's here. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's a win for Jasper Philipson today. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that would make sense that you defeated me. Understandable. Stage number two of today's episode. Uh, the second time I play it, I played it once. Won it, and I, just like the Vuelta episode a couple of days ago, forgot to unpause recording. It's a shame. It's a shame, because uh, it, was, it was a great stage. Easy win for Hugo as well. I guess, I guess I'll have to redo it all again. It's been a bit of a difficulty in the Alto del Vivero, uh, mostly in the previous climb, I guess, on, uh, at the very summit. We got dropped, right, let's be honest. We, we got dropped with Hugo. But uh, thankfully, Lenny Martinez was, uh, was careful and vigilant, and he brought us back in. So thank you, Lenny. And when the final climb, the Alto de Araish, first attack, that is Lucas Hamilton. Uh, he bothered me a lot in the first time I've played this. So hopefully he doesn't uh, start again, because I've had enough of his uh, shenanigans. Michael Stora has low-key blocked me, but that's fine. Hugo is most likely going to come back on, uh, on Mr. Hamilton. I think, I mean, a Canadian bringing back an Eldor Hamilton. I'm getting Abu Dhabi vibes here. Uh, <laughs> I know it was the other way around, right? It's not, Latifi never caught Hamilton. Right, let's make that clear. Uh, you know what? He's all in on quite well, this Lucas today. Lucas is doing quite well. Uh, I had attacked in the Daniel portion, like, like here. Oh, he just crashed. Oh, no. Well, Lewis Hamilton, no, Lucas Hamilton, sorry, has scratched. Ah. It's a shame for, for Bike Exchange. Oh, no, is it Israel? Probably Israel. Uh, in their quest of uh, UCI points, because even in my save, they're going to be relegated. 2k to go. I've launched a sprint with Brandon McNulty, and he's dropped to goal, so we love to see it. I guess it's going to be a win for Brandon McNulty, then. Um, could it be a 1-2 with Hugo P2? Come on, go, go catch Zvihov. Go defeat Aramburu, you're quicker than him. Uh, maybe you're not. It's a win for McNulty today. Gets in. All right, we're now in a serious territory. We've uh, said goodbye to the small hills of Bilbao of the Basque Country. We're heading to Los Machucos. It's it's a it's a very treacherous climb. If you play badly, you can lose a lot of things. Now, granted, I do have a massive massive lead in the GC, which is going to help me a lot. All right, it it allows me to basically lose one minute and 30 seconds every day, which is a massive, massive, like, help. 
But it's PCM. Genuinely, anything could happen. Like, I could see the Peloton attacking in this climb in, and just, like, winging it and winging it. And, and like, winning it. Roglic nearly did down the Tour de Suisse. Um, I've actually had... I think it was Yates that did that to me on this stage of the Vuelta a couple of years ago. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm confident. But I'm not overconfident. Very odd situation here as we uh, approach the start of Los Machucos. A lot of attacks by basically everyone, uh, meaning that I'm not really well placed. But I'm hoping I can come back here. Uh, we've got four riders in front of three riders. Thibaut Pino is there. It does break my heart to know that I'm going to pace him back. However, if I can give him the win, I will. I don't care if I don't win the stage. If Thibaut wins, it's a lot better for a uh, It makes me feel like I've, like I've done a good deed in my life, all right? But yeah, Ben Healy, Tejada, and Thibaut up front. We're going to start Los Machucos quite shortly. And I expect a, a peloton attack or a, fa a favorite attack, so I should say. Quite early on as well. And in the words of Fabrizio Romano, here we go. 7.5k to go until the summit of Los Machucos. Or should I say, like, 6k until the summit. Because the final kilometer is flat. Or flatter. Again. Tricky climb. Very tricky climb. Quite steep. Mostly quite narrow. And I don't want Hugo to lose a few positions just like he currently is doing. Dianley coming back on Terrada, Butrago and, uh, and Thibaut. Okay. Hugo is... I don't want to say dropped, because that's not the word. He's not dropped. Just further behind. And we're going to make a tough choice. We're going to prioritize Hugo over Brandon McNulty. It is the most logical option. Jahin Lee is going to do a very good job today. And so is Butrago, so is Mass. Basically, so is everyone. Because Hugo is going to lose some time on... Uh, on the champion of Australia. Good Vuelta so far for Jai Lee. I think he got two, made that, maybe three stages now. If, uh, if he does take the win in uh, Los Machucos. Brandon is going to lose two minutes. Hugo though is going to come home in what seems to be P5. Which is very much respectable. Fabio Felide? Why? Why are you there? After yesterday's Los Machucos. Uh, the Peloton are going to have Los Flatos. I mean, I, I don't know, probably like the flats. Uh, hopefully that doesn't mean punctures for my team. Plus 5 for Brandon, plus 5 for Hugo Hull, plus 5 for Liam Martinez. Injury for Fabian Lennart, not disappointing. Tell you what, we've got a, uh, a sprint stage that we're not going to win. Because I think the breakaway may just hold on. The four riders up front, Tony Galopin, Bob Jungle, Timo Lenz, and Igor Arrieta. Uh, I think they can just make it. I think. Uh, I'm going to try my best to fight for the sprint, obviously. Peter André Côté has exploded. Um, it's weird, the rhythm wasn't even this high. I don't, don't really know what happened. Final 5 game, 31 seconds. They're just there. They are literally there. We're going to have one false flat. I need to find this. Yeah, I, I, okay, come on, come on. No, no, fuck you. Martin Tuzvelt, you serve literally no purpose. That may just be the reason as to why I lose, if I were to lose, obviously, which isn't a guarantee yet. Where's this guy? Like a good. There goes McNulty. Is that Pedersen? That that's Tom Shins. Fair enough. McNulty, you go, you go, you go, you go. You go wins in Oviedo. Fair enough. Yeah, good. It's a one two for Cervera. Stage number fifteen. Mountain stage today between Tino and Santuario de la Cebo. Another plus five for Hugo. As long as he keeps getting plus fives, right? If, like, the duo, Brian McNulty, Hugo keeps getting plus fives, I'm very good. Even though Brandon has now 88 fitness, which I feel, or I fear, as a matter of fact, can become tragic in the, in the very near future. Especially for my quest of the white jersey. The rest of the jerseys, I think, for now, I'm quite safe. I don't want to say I've got the red in the bag, but I think I do. But yeah, now I want to defend the white one with, uh, with Brian McNulty. Come on, son. And I feel like the peloton is going to have a field day in the Puerto de la Cebo. Uh, breakaway, 8.30 in the lead group of six up front with Remco Evenepoel at its helm. Then we've got Lucas Hamilton. 
Aval Tehara, Damian Caruso, Mark Donovan, and a guy Slamer Isa. Beyond, we've got Cabedo, Schrinth, Rafa Maika, and Domen Novak on his own, just vibing, I presume, uh, on shore, on really, what he's doing. Uh, we're going to protect Mr. Brunk Nolte, we're going to protect Mr. Hugo Hull. Hopefully, Stefan Bessega can give me water. I feel like... Ah, oh, yeah, I feel like he's dead. There, there's no way I'm going to get water in, in the Puerto de la Cebo. All right, well, uh, the vibes, most likely, and hopefully uh, not drought. That has gone swimmingly. Uh, we've got 3.6k to go. Some attacks here. Mr. Yates, Mr. Mass, anyone else? No, I think it's too short for now. Um, who's up front? Hamilton, Caruso, Remco, Vinipol. Is Remco going to get his first Grotor stage? That would, be, uh, that would be quite the event. Caruso won't be... Out of the, the running, and it's going to be Hamilton versus Remco. And Remco, it is him. That sounds weird. Uh, but Remco wins at the Puerto de la Cebo. Good. Uh, Peloton wise, we're, we're here. We, we, we're, we're out here. All right. 1.5k to go. Don't tell me that. Is that the group mass? Yates. It is. Um, I think I could have done better, but I reckon I got blocked. I, 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 I have no proof that I was, but I feel like I was. And Brennan is going to casually bring Hugo to the front. Brilliant. We're going to lose a few seconds on Yates, a few seconds on Carapaz, and on Mass. But that's about it. Jai Henley, who came back quite well GC-wise, has been dropped. That's good for us. Gets in. More plus five for Hugo. Um, where is this, Brandon? Oh, plus two. Okay, good. Um, mm -mm. Hmm. Alto de la Cubilla. How, how, how long is it? Like 13? 22k. I think it's a climb that suits Hugo a lot more than all of the previous Vuelta climbs we've experienced. Uh, I'm still going to send someone in the break, right? Like a, a good old Stefan Bissiger breakaway day. Uh, this stage is a bit of a madness because I don't get what's happening. Uh, Hamilton and Thibaut Pino are attacking, I guess, again. Uh, Bissiger has been dropped three times. He came back three times and then got dropped three times. So... Don't know if there's a bit of a catch-up being played. Like is is Bissega part of a, of a grand scheme of yo-yoing? I, I don't know. Peloton is only two and a half minutes down. Um, Lenny Martinez is already halfway through his yellow. So is Maro Schmidt. James Picard has been dropped. Uh, yeah, many questions and very few answers. Oh, and here's interesting. Uh, Simon Yates has attacked to bridge with Lucas Hamilton and Rigo Uran. Uh, Hamilton is also taking the lead of the mountain classification here. Interesting. Minute of the leader for uh, the Dino Riders. I'm not going to do anything. I've only got four riders. I know I'm leading the GC, but I feel like the lead I have kind of prevents me from pacing because, I mean, yes, it's P2. So I guess Bora should probably do the work. And I guess they are. So, yeah, do your thing, Bora. Have fun. And they got co op. They had a minute when we started the Alta de la Cubilla. I gave water to some of my riders and then they got caught up. So I'm going to guess um, that Uran stopped pacing. Then it destroyed... Well, I mean, it didn't destroy anyone. Like just Hamilton and Yates didn't just want to relate. We have Jai Henley on the move. He's 34 seconds in the lead. So far, so good. Um, playing it defensive with Hugo right now. One minute for Jai Henley as I started pacing with Brian McNulty. Uh, I didn't think the gap would increase that much for Jai. Uh, it's really in the past two kilometers that he's increased his um, his lead over us, and I mean we're not faking our, our rhythm. We are we are pacing pacing as well with uh, with Brandon and now with Hugo Hull, 1.7k. I think Hugo will make it to the end of the stage uh, without too much worrying. Uh, where's Yates? Is he in the first group? Oh yeah, he was. He's there. He just go up uh, with Mr. Jai Hindley. Sprint to the line between the two. Jai Henley takes it at the Alto de la Cubia. He's won Los Matricos. He's now won La Cubia. Jai Henley is very, very strong in his Vuelta. Stronger than Yates. Probably stronger than New Goal, who gets P3 today. Just not smart. It's a sprint, meaning it's a rest day for Ugoul today. He gets in. 10k to go between uh, the Peloton and Guadalajara. Uh, no breakaway anymore. Lenny is leading everyone. Quite scared with Fabian Linar in the train. 
quite scared with him in the train. I don't know if he's got the legs to, well, to just to go and launch a sprint for us. Mm hmm. Castro Viejo just crashed. That's that's a bit of a of a bummer for the Spaniard of Ineos. Three k to go. Lots of corners. I remember. I think no. Okay, maybe not. I don't have the best of brains. Mr. Pierre Henri Coté is gonna start now. There's Savien Linard. There's Besega. I have launched so remarkably early. It's it's actually not funny. Ah, but I've still won. Big ups, Besega. Lotus and Vernon complete a uh, UK based podium, except the winner. Good! Lovely. Simply lovely. Yes, it's a mountain stage. But I have terrible news. U Hugo is not in the fitness peak anymore. Now, th for now, things are looking up, right? It's still looking good. And thank God tomorrow is not the stage I thought it was. Because it's stage 20. Fuck! Please don't lose 13 minutes. Come on, Gum. You're, you're better than this, right? You've never lost 40 minutes and 30 seconds in four stages, have you? I'm, I'm speaking to myself at this point. That's how bamboozled I am. We're four stages away from winning La Vuelta with Hugo. I think at this point I could just retire from PCM. I won't. I won't if I get 100 likes on this video. Come on, please. Help, help a brother out, come on. Just click, it's, it's the thumb up. I mean, there's no thumbs down anymore, it's just, I guess it's called like. I don't know, I don't watch YouTube anymore except ASMR, but I fall asleep too quickly to, to leave likes in it. Please don't fall asleep on my videos and just give me some support, just like you want to give Hugo some support. That's way too long for a stage intro. See you when I get dropped. All right, I think we can uh, cross a, uh, a line on uh, our best climber classification. I don't think we're winning it. I don't think we're winning it. I think Lucas Hamilton is going to get it. Quite funny for a climber to have still we rise as his gap phrase. Also, I don't notice uh, that I thought the gap was like 8 minutes. It's 12. Well, I mean, I guess 11 now. That's a lot of minutes. A lot more than I thought. Because uh, that means if someone is, wait, within 30 minutes, that's a top five. <laughs> wait, hold up. Um, anyone within 30 minutes? 32 here. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're going we're gonna to be careful about this. Quite fortunate it's not on the, uh, the difficult side of the climb. So we should be fine. We should be fine. 1.4k until the summit. Eight minutes for the breakaway. There is no worries to have about the general classification anymore. Has anyone attacked? No, that is Timorens, that is Mehawi Kurus. Good. Who's leading? It's alone Mark Donovan ahead of, uh, of Michael Stora. It's a shame for FDG. They, they haven't won, I think, on, the, on this World Tour. I don't think today's the day. And indeed it isn't. Mark Donovan takes the stage in Beceri de la Sierra ahead of Michael Stara. The peloton will arrive 8 minutes approximately after the uh, rider from the UK. They had a 1, two, or they had a 2, 3, sorry, yesterday. Mao, ah, Schmidt just crashed. Don't withdraw. Ah, oh, no, no, no. You crashed on your own in a corner. That's never good. Come on, back on your bike. Come on. Pedal. Get in. That's my son. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to arrive at in a few minutes, fighting for a, for a top 15, 20 ish position. No worries. GC wise, nothing has changed in the top 10. Status quo with one more mountain stage in this Vuelta. Things are looking up. Stage number 19 of La Vuelta plus 3 for Hugo. Where's the, the couple section? I know there's a couple. I'm gonna guess there's a climb to Ostoledo. I think it's. Downhill, left-hander, and then it's a right curb, cobble-wise, I think. I can't. I, I, rec I recall, like, maybe Remy Cavagna winning it in one of my saves. Could be wrong. Um, either way, I'm going to send Pierre Nicot in the breakaway today. Or Mauro Schmidt. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's have Mauro Schmidt. Let's, let's cover the basis of a hill slash sprint slash cobbled. Mauro is the best at that. Uh, hi, guys. I have a joke for you. Um, it's called I've got a 26 minutes lead of the peloton. 
Nice. And Pelton started to uh, to care about the breakaway. I mean, there's 11k left, and they are very much behind. Also, bike exchange and and as of there, you should have been the one attacking here, or at least pacing. Come on, Victor, please stop. Victor, s'il te plaît. Thank you, Victor. Uh, Bob Jungels and Christopher Juliansen are pricks. Uh, that's my statement of the day. Mauro is going to lead in uh, this hilly part here. Going to have a bit of a downhill portion. Slash false flat. There's a crash in Peton that, that Stage Benoit. He was 16th this morning. Uh, he's going to lose positions at least to Mauro Schmidt. Alright. Who could win? Thunderbird? Yeah, okay. I, I, I think I'm the best candidate for the stage today. In uh, the great town of Toledo. Left hander, and let's go. Six hundred needs to go in the cobble section. I reckon we can come back on uh, on Mister Debud. Can I hold on to the line against Bob Jungles? No, I cannot. No, I cannot. I guess Bob Jungles played it well by uh, not pacing. Wait, the gaps are twenty seven fifty two. I'm glad the players paced. I uh, just for for the sake of being sure. I'll attack with you, Goul. Soon, I think. Just to make sure. Yeah. It's gonna be very close. It's gonna be very, very close for some riders. Some riders are out. Tish Benot is gonna be OTL, Sos Warren Bargil, Sos Merhawi Kodos. Yves Lampard maybe out as well? Ooh, that's difficult here. No, Yves gonna make it. Yeah, Yves gonna make it. What a weird stage. Plus four for Hugo. Come on. I think we've got this. I think we've got this. Uh, Mauro came back P8, I think, GC wise, thanks to yesterday's ridiculous stage. That's good. Uh, I mean, the, the, the team classification is basically safe. I just need to hold on for one stage. Then that's it. Then that's it. Then I have 120k to just enjoy Madrid. Went to the uh, Puerto de Peña Negra. 840 is the lead for the breakaway. Um, we're doing well for now. We're doing well. I was taking a few uh, a few looks at the GC and and everything. Um, wait, am I using the old jerseys? Oh, I've been using the old jerseys for the entire time. I'm very sorry about that. Um, had I not had that break, where would you go on stage three? I would be second of the GC right now, one minute behind Samini. The level that Hugo has had on this welter is simply phenomenal. Eight kilometers for Hugo. And the Plataforma de Gredos. And then that'll be it. Then he'll have done it. The second Canadian to win a Grand Tour after Ryder Hedgedal in a very dramatic manner. Up front, we've got a battle of uh, three for the stage. Thibaut Pinot, Thibaut Benoit, who was not out of the lay, he's actually saved himself for six seconds yesterday. And Peyo Bilbao, it's all for Thibaut. Well, you, you know me, we're, we're going for Thibaut for the stage. Even though I can't control him, even though I have no input over what he's going to do, we're going to support him. Some more attacks, Jahin Le Guitrago, Mass Yates, don't care. Thibaut Benoit has dropped Thibaut Pinot. Fuck. Thibaut, you can't try to come back. Little, little sprint here. Uh, Bilbao, Bilbao, Benoit, Tish Benoit. Yeah, no. Tish Benoit is going to stay the, take the stage, sorry. At the Plataforma de Gredos. And Hugo, despite getting dropped again by Henrik Maas, by Jai Henley, and by Simon Yates, is going to achieve the biggest thing in his career. Last year, he was yet to win a professional race. Now, Unless he crashes tomorrow. Hugo is a Grand Tour winner. What a year he's had and what a season for Cervelo Test Team. These are the most rewarding 102 kilometers in this career mode so far. I don't really recall having a, a tour like this. On video. I've had like similar experiences on on PC on this PCM mostly. 
but also on other PCMs back in the days. But to finally have won a Grand Tour with <laughs> just thanks to a breakaway on video, yeah, it does make it sweeter. And the fact that it's with Yugoul, who was basically the, the, the staple of Cervelo in season one, the man who brought everything to life. To give him a Grand Tour win. Can't lie. Feels good. Feels good. I'm going to play this in times one. Just to, like, soak it in. No, I'm kidding. Uh, times eight it is. Final 11 kilometers on this Vuelta. And no, it is not Los Galacticos leading the peloton. Even though I think we've been as dominant as the great Real Madrid. I mean, I'll have to, to take a look at everything that happened on this Vuelta. I can't count the stages we got. All I know is that we're going to win the GC. We've got two riders in the top five, I think. I think Brandon is still top five. He is. Uh, Mauro dropped out top ten on that previous stage, but that's, that's uh, details. Genuinely details. Don't really, don't really care about all of these. And we're going to bring home the points jersey, I believe, at this with Hugo. The best young rider. Mountain one. Nah, Lucas Hamilton got it. But that's fine. That's fine. Again, bare, bare details. The main one is that we're bringing home the red jersey. I, I don't think I had said my, uh, my objectives on this world up. They were a podium with, uh, with Brandon McNulty. I won't achieve the podium with Brandon. I think I've achieved something so much bigger. Dan Eze takes the final stage in Madrid, ahead of Hugo Hull and Chris Lawless. What a Vuelta. What a Vuelta. And I usually forget to take a look at the podium, but this time I didn't. Dan Eze wraps up a, a decent Vuelta, I think, for GSM. I actually have no idea whether it was decent or not, but I guess they got a stage win, so that's better than what they did in the previous 53 years. So good on them for getting a stage here in Madrid. You go with Winslow Wilta. 14-12 ahead of Simon Yates, 14-46 at a giant lead, meaning that without my breakaway, I would have been P3. Because I got 16-03 on Simon Yates that day. That would have been a genuine P3 for you. It isn't. Lucas Hamilton is the best climber for ISN and Hugo wins the point classification. Brian McNulty brings him the white jersey ahead of Santiago Buitrago, and the best team is obviously going to be Servado. Welcome to the land of maple syrup and Ryan Reynolds. Those are the two things Canada goes by. And the two things they are known in the world for. And also, I guess, um... Oh, Drake and The Weeknd. And not, not like, Saturday, Sunday, but, like, more the artist, The Weeknd, not specifically the, the weekdays. Uh, oh, we've had a ten-man attack. In the Grand Prix of Quebec. Sorry, I just went Quebec for a second. Um, th this episode is very chaotic. Like, I, there's some sort of energy with me right now. I don't, don't know what it is. Uh, can confirm I have not drunk uh, or done anything illegal. But either way, we're going to try and lose with Joël Suter because I don't think we're coming back on the group ahead here. Disappointing. At least, actually, we may do. But I think too late. Yeah, 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 we're, we're, we're too late. We're sadly too late because I thought it was this group, but this group is lapped. Disappointing, disappointing. Uh, we'll be fighting for uh, a lovely P10, which is not what, uh, what I came for here. Actually, could we? No. That's... I've been duped twice. That's twice I thought I was going to come back, and twice they dropped me again. And it's a win for Marco Brenna, Marco Brenna, Marco Brenna. Great stats for Marco Brenna. Marco Brenna takes the stage ahead of Ida Schelling and Jack Haig. Top 10 at least for me. Come on, join. Come on, son. Yeah, top 10. 10th and 11th for Nicholas Zukowski as well. Gets in. Final stage of the episode. Uh, final race, should I say, Grand Prix de Montréal. I think last year we won. I know I, we did well last year. That's all I remember. 
this year my lineup isn't as good because well I mean I'm on the world now. Um so I guess it's gonna be an Adam Devos masterclass. Or at least I'm gonna try to make one. But I don't believe in me. Nor do I believe in him. Uh, I've been speaking for like five kilometers with nothing happening because my mic was off. Um three point six K to go where Vonat is gonna like probably take the stage because he's literally too good. Come on Adam. I need to bridge with uh like ideally I would have loved to bridge with the group here, the Brenner Hague. And is that Batista? Yeah, that, that's that was my uh initially planned group. Except it didn't work. And the win today, God, it's not one odd. Is see the Shang? Great season for it. Uh Dan Martinez takes second, Vlasov third. Do we take ninth? No, we don't. We don't. Oh, sorry, I'm in, I'm in tenth. Oh actually we may take tenth. I don't know if Evrar and Le Danois are fighting with me. No, no, definitely not. Oh. Right, 10th on uh, both Canadian races. We had the 1, 2, 3 in Benidorm. We had a stage win in Igualada with Hugo. We had a stage win at the Alto de Havalambre with Hugo. We had a stage win with McNulty in Bilbao. We had a stage win with Hugo in Oviedo. We had a stage win with Besega in Guadalajara. We won the GC. We got countless podiums. That is probably one of the best ever Grand Tour for a continental pro team. Second best I can probably think of would be K11's Tour de France in 2011 because BMC was Conti Pro, I think. Wait, was BMC Conti Pro in 2011? Actually, I know they were in 2010. I'm not sure about 2011, but either way, I digress. This is simply my greatest achievement on PCM 2022. And if we're unsure by now, uh, we will be in World Tour next year, even on results. Again, no doubt, I would have put myself in World Tour either way, but still. Uh, we'll have one more episode in this season, uh, the last one, I guess. Uh, World's Time Trial, Road Race, Lombardia, and um, yeah, a bit of a shorter episode next time. I hope you've enjoyed today's. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the World Tour. Um, bit of a chaotic energy, again, for today. Don't really know why. Probably the lack of beard, I guess more uh, more dominus can just exit by my chin jawline, which is inexistent. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Again, destroy the like button for your goal, and I'll catch you for the next and final episode of season 2 of Cervelo, which would be episode 15, I think. And then we'll have uh, probably like two, two or three day break, presenting or presentation of season 3, and then season 3 begins. Be ready. Because there are some big things coming for the Team Salvador. Very, very big things. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. And see ya. Pass me the funk. Get your funk on, girl. And don't you ever let Pass me the go. funk. We're getting drunk in here. And what comes next?